For Uganda, withdrawing of a presidential election petition is unprecedented. With it too, asking three justices to recuse themselves is unprecedented too. It is this legal limbo that Robert Chagulani, the NUP leader, has thrown the judiciary into. He accused the Chief Justice Alfonso Winidolo, Justice Mike Chibita, and Ezekiel Mhanguzi of having a strong personal relationship with the defendant, President Yori Museveni. However, the judiciary has hit at the nitpicking that Robert Chagulani used. When Arebo Chagulani came to parliament, because there was a court decision that removed a member of parliament uh, representing his area. So he came in through a by-election after a court decision. Two, when someone wanted to disorganize him uh, that he acquired NUP illegally, he ran to court to protect his interest in the, his interest in the party and his political life. The court protected him. And then when he had the military surround his residence in Magere, he ran to court and the court issued a court order in his favor. The judiciary has now expressed worry that their image will be dented. Some of these politicians have a following and their followers, uh, some of them trust everything they tell them. According to Simon Peter Chinobi, the former Uganda Law Society president, the League of Fraternity has some lessons to pick from this new twist of events. We need to always act professionally and uh, deal with legal issues as legal issues and not political issues. If you have timelines, adhere to the timelines. Uh, if an application, for instance, is as, as, as very shocked uh, that a lawyer would think that an application that amends a cause of action would be allowed. Legal expert Fred Mema argues that it is important to separate powers of the judiciary from the executive, just like Kenya did after the 2007 post-election violence. Uganda's president has powers under the constitution to appoint judges on recommendation of the Judicial Service Commission. He has currently appointed all the judges in the Supreme Court. The ideal situation is to go the Kenya way. Now the Kenya way uh, was only supported by uh, a robust constitutional reform uh, where, where they had to uh, trim the powers of the president and uh, uh, develop them into various institutions. In terms of separation of powers, you realize that the president is the principal who appoints and promotes the judges. And uh, with time, especially if, uh, for example, is the president who has been voted uh, in too power for a long time, people tend to believe that as time goes by, these judges will tend to uh, take care of his interests instead of the justice that the public would be demanding. What do you make of uh, such an allegation? Judicial officers take an oath when they get appointed uh, to work without fear or favor. And they are bound by that oath. Considering what has played out, the gymnastics in court, especially the Supreme Court, Robert Chagulani tomorrow, if he chooses to come back to court, will he be treated with all due respect and accorded the justice he would be seeking in future? Judges are very sober and they will understand that someone is probably frustrated because of this and that. And that will be a transaction. When it ends, we look forward, we keep focused on the business. The different sides weighed in on the way forward. Some people have proposed that uh, we should have a special court to handle political cases. Uh, there is a need for a renewal uh, of uh, the oath that the members of this uh, esteemed uh, institution uh, take. We believe that justice should not only be done but should be seen to be done. The judiciary says they are going to come up with outreach programs where they will reach out to the public and ensure that they change the wrong perception that they have after the new president Robert Chagulani withdrew his petition from the Supreme Court.
challenging the results of the 2021 presidential election. It's not clear how long the judiciary will take, especially changing the perception of the jury or the public, where Chagulani is also seeking redress. Sudhir Yarhanga, NTV.